Welcome to another one of our HubSpot tutorials. This is CJ with The Gist. We're an inbound marketing and growth agency and certified HubSpot solutions partner based in Buffalo, New York. Let's dive in. This video is going to show you how to improve engagement and drive more leads from your website by adding a live chat widget. This is a really great tool and it is incredibly easy to configure inside HubSpot. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Right now I'm in a test account um, and for this video I think it would be better to actually show you uh, my actual HubSpot portal for my business. So I'm going to jump over to the gist and the way I navigate to that is I go from conversations right into chat flows and it's going to show you um, the previous chat flows that I've created. Now chat flows is a catch-all term in HubSpot for live chat and or chat bots, right? You can create a live chat widget, you can also create a bot. You can also create a bot that based on how somebody engages with it can turn into a live chat and automatically route a conversation to a live agent on your sales or customer service team. But right now we're just going to show you how easy it is to create a simple live chat widget on your website. So I'm going to hit create chat flow. And where would you like to add this chat flow? You can do it on Facebook Messenger, which is really cool. It's a very simple and clean integration, but I'm just going to do it on my website. And now you, you can see here, um, you know, there's two options for live chat and there's a bunch of options for bots. There's going to be a separate video uh, out about how to create a bot. Um, what's cool about the knowledge base in live chat is um, you, can, you can have a live chat and within that people can search for articles inside your knowledge base. But that's a video for a, a different day. So we're just going to go with basic live chat here and I'm going to click next. Um, the next thing you want to do is um, pick an inbox. So an inbox is kind of like, well, it is what it sound, sounds like. Um, it's a place where all of your conversations, centralized place where all of your conversations flow. You can create multiple inboxes. I just have one inbox and I call it inbox because we're a small company and we don't need multiple inboxes. So I'm going to click create. And now, um, when you build it, it's, it's actually quite simple, right? So the first thing you do, um, um, actually I'll skip past build and I'll go to display, right? So right here you can um, uh, figure out how it displays, right? You can pop open the message welcome as a prompt like this. Um, you can only show the chat launcher so somebody has to click it or you can um, open the full chat widget, right? Um, I like to do this because this feels a little bit too intrusive and this feels a little bit too hidden so I like this where you know it says hey you know it's kind of like an invitation we're here to chat with us uh, if you want if they don't want to they can exit out and then how do you display your chat right you can do it on exit intent so that means when somebody mouses up to the top of their browser then it'll display um, or you can do and or you can do time on page um, or percentage of the page scrolled. So I normally do time on page and or percentage of page scrolled. Um, I usually wait three seconds uh, and or uh, if they've scrolled 50% of the way down the page, whichever comes first. Um, that's what I like to do so that way they can kind of see it pop up and it doesn't wait too long. So it's there relatively uh, quickly. Um, you can obviously customize uh, the chat here so you can have it displayed from the contact owner. So this is great if you have a sales team, right? Um, and uh, every user that's created on your account could be a chat user. And it's really easy for them to respond to chats either through the HubSpot app on their desktop or through the mobile app. And it'll also give you a new visitor uh, fallback. So let's say if, 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 their, if their contact owner isn't available, um, is there a support agent uh, or a customer service employee who would be the fallback? Um, so it's really easy to configure there. And then when you're building it, you can just say, got any questions? Um, you know, we're ready to chat with you live. Um, then you're going to target it, right? So you're going to pick which website pages it goes on. A really simple one would be, well, all pages, right? But you can, um, you know, enter in specific URLs. 
Um, so it only displays on certain pages. I use this with chat bots, quite honestly. Um, I have different chat bots designed to um, engage prospects around different pieces of content. I have one for HubSpot. I have one for chat bots. And so um, over time, as I create these custom um, bots or, or live chat widgets, I'm only going to display them on content that's, that's consistent with what the bot is about. So if I have a, a HubSpot uh, a bot that's or a live chat widget that says, hey, got any questions about HubSpot? We're here to help. I'll put that on any website page about HubSpot. I'll put that on any blog post about HubSpot. So um, again, it's easy to just do is all pages. And if you're starting simple, you can just do that. Um, you can also add exclusion rules. So it's all pages, but not our contact us because we, won't, we don't wanna um, direct attention away from somebody taking the action, which would be filling out a form or booking a call. So um, I'm just gonna keep this. I'm not gonna add any exclusion rules. I'm not gonna um, you know, only show it if the contact belongs to a certain list um, or by device type. I just wanna show it to everybody. Again, I've already gone over display. Um, and now, you know, if you want to add the GDPR consent to uh, collect chat cookies, if your only if your website is really only um, uh, targeting people in the U.S., you may not need to do that. But again, I'm not going to be, you know, um, I, I don't want to speak for your attorney as to whether or not you should uh, do that. But um, another real cool tool is you can preview it so um, you can see what it looks like. Um, with bots, this is really good because you want to test it. You want to go through, okay, if somebody clicks this, does, does the follow-up response um, show what I want it to show? And then it's really as simple as turning it on. And then that's on. You know, you probably want to give it a name. But that's literally how easy it is to um, put a live chat on your website in HubSpot. And more and more people these days prefer chat and, yes, even bots uh, to form submissions because we live in a world of instant gratification where immediacy is the priority. And oftentimes the difference between um, a, an anonymous visitor going to your site and leaving and then engaging with you and becoming a lead is how fast you were able to answer their question or address their problem. So you are going to see more and more businesses adding live chat and chat bots on their website simply because they're, they work and they are what people like to interact with. Fortunately, HubSpot makes it super easy, and this is how um, simple uh, it is to add a live chat widget on your website. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you wanna dive deeper into this topic, suggest we do a new tutorial on a new topic, or if you wanna learn more about our HubSpot onboarding and support services, head on over to thegistcontent.com slash HubSpot. Thanks for watching.